hello fellas this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to create a video of uh, response spectrum analysis using StatPro V8i in the previous video we have just seen how to calculate the static analysis so for uh, today's video we are creating response spectrum analysis so just create a new project and I will use stat editor uh, stat um, structure which are to generate my model fastly so let's open it and go to frame models bay frame and just drag and drop it height is 9 yeah this this thing is very important here i will show you why it is important in the later part using three bays at each side and let's just import this to my stat at 000, zero, zero. <coughs> now let's me uh, let me create some specification for it as for standard 0.25 and 0.2 of concrete material rectangular and just assign this to view now let's create support for this structure as i will use fix one and just assign it by orating into z direction and assign now you can see my supports have been assigned to my structure so i will create some load definitions and let's go to uh, <coughs> seismic definition just uh, we, uh, we are doing this part because like we need uh, some shear force to, to be calculated using seismic definitions so let's just add and I will choose Indian code as IS1893 uh, IS because this is Indian code for seismic analysis or earthquake analysis so just select this one and uh, go to generate if you do not know this part you have to watch my previous video in which i have explained all these things so as of now i am selecting my area uh, city as delhi and uh, as these are my default um, which i have explained in my previous video and i will take medium soil type with damping ratio 0.5 and uh, let's just generate and add it so now i have to add self weight with factor one then member load as u and i and my weight is 15. why i am taking this weight 15 because uh, this is a weight of wall which is going to be onto the beams so weight to calculate the weight of wall we have a formula as wall thickness into wall height into brick density so my wall thickness is 0.25 uh, and my wall height is 3 meters as you can see 3 meters let me orient it from this side 3 meter 3 meter 3 meter that's why total makes it 9 meters so when you when you multiply this thing with like uh, when you get calculator and uh, you will see 0.25 into 3 into 20 makes out as 15 so I am giving here 15 and uh, just add it for floor loads I am giving it 3.75 sorry 3.75 3.75 because there is a formula for my slab as uh, thickness into material density and uh, my thickness I am taking as 0 0.150 into my default thickness of uh, and the default uh, material density is 25 kN per meter square so and now this this thing is important because I am taking into y range as 9 because height of my building is 9 meters so just add it and just close it so you have to define the member load to define it you have to 
select all the beams parallel to x and parallel to z so let's assign two selected beams and it has been assigned here so let's just create uh, some load cases and i will create two load cases of seismic type named as x oh sorry x as x and in z direction for z i am giving z direction now you have to define particularly like you have to go to seismic and in x direction with vector one add and for the next one select z and add seismic in z direction with vector one now you have to add analysis and print and just go to print analyze and you will get a result for your analysis and this is my static analysis which i have called in previous video also the thing which i want from this one is my value of base shear my value of my base shear comes from sorry let me show you like this is my uh, according to 1893.3.0300 into 6448.93 which comes out as Just bring my calculator and point zero three zero zero into six four four eight point nine three comes around one ninety three point four six seven nine. This value is important, so let's I have to remove my load cases which I have created so remove to deactivate them then just go to stat editor and now you will see the last load cases load case 1 and 2 in x and g direction just deactivate them by selecting like this and hitting this button to deactivate them then you will see they are turned green and just have to save it the moment I close it their update will be there because I have done some changes just close it now you go to your mm, loads and definition and let me just create one load case let me add a seismic type and add close in this what I will do I will add certain load cases and uh, I will self add self weight in all the direction X with factor 1 x y and c now you can see here x y and z so the same way i will add member load 15 in z x add 15 in z y add and the same in c so you can see now i will add also the float load in 3.75 75 and in maximum range up to 9 meters in x direction y direction and z direction just close it and now i have to assign self weight assigned to view yes like that way I have to assign for every X, Y and G. After that I have to assign this member load on Z, X to then I have to select those beams X and Z. Now I have to assign it, assign to selected beams. The same I have to assign for Y, assign already selected beams are there assign simply and hit this button assign ok 
okay so now what i have to do i have to select this one and add a response spectrum analysis this chart is important here which code i have to choose i have to define is 8093 i have chosen because it is it is indian standard and now this is combination method as you start a study in your civil engineering what are these so now i am i will take cqc which means my combined quadratic equation then let me just choose it and let me check it in x and z direction with a factor of one and one my soil type is my medium and my dumping ratio is 0.5 let's just add it so it has been added and now just go to analysis and print and here just analyze it So let's go to output file my analysis has been done and you will see when you go to results if you have to check the eigenvalue it is giving me for six modes because i haven't defined how many modes i want so it is by default giving me six mode what is the frequency at each mode and what is the time period at that particular mode so it is it has been shown here and you can see if you want to see response spectrum load then you can see on x y and z what is generalized weight you can see here after that you have want to see peak story as i have three stories in my building at a distance of three meter three meter each so you can see at base what is my peak shear and what what is my level zero three six and nine in meter base first story second story and third story so you can see now model base actions on which model what is my force acting on which direction what is the magnitude okay so you can see like this after that you can see participation factor for each mode now you will see i have only chosen cqc so these are values are depending on c or cqc but other methods are also available in strat pro it have given me but all my details are based on cqc so so th that's it for today and this was uh, response spectrum analysis and uh, if you like the video you can subscribe the channel to get more videos coming up line up you can leave your comments thank you this is jagbir singh signing off jai bharat jai india